Okay. So now, now imagine you, you drive your car. I, I mean, I think some people here uh, have the driving license and you drive your car. And uh, suddenly there is this small dog, you can imagine, crossing the road. There is a small dog, very nice, crossing the road. And, and you don't want to hurt the dog. What you're doing, you try to uh, pull the steering wheel to the left in order to avoid the dog. But nothing happens. The car goes straight and you just hear it. <laughs> okay. Now you, you drive, okay, you are sad, you, you continue your, your driving and on your left side, yeah, the, there is something very dangerous. There is a river, a deep fall. You, you can get really injured there. And the car now finally makes the movement to the left. So you see, this is the story with a leg in a steering wheel. You, you try to avoid the puppy, but there was no change because there is a leg. And then you, you had on your left side this very deep river, and the car now will take the left. So you, you see, this is very bad. This is very bad because whatever you tried to do was not functioning. You, you hurt. You, you killed maybe the dog, and then you killed yourself. And you, you can see something like this with the monetary policy. And there is a story which goes like this. You, you remember, maybe you were not very old at that time, but maybe you, you heard about the 9-11 in the United States. 9-11. So let's suppose this is 9-11. Inside your OK. Okay, so this is the plane hitting this building. Okay, so, and bad things will happen. Now, if you are the manager, the chairman of the central bank in the United States, you, you are to expect that the economy will suffer because, of course, people will get afraid. When such an attack happens in your country, you can expect more some more attacks could come, right? Because if they manage to do this, they can do even more. Okay, so then, then you say, okay, now bad times are coming. The people will get pessimistic. We're gonna have uh, lower investments, lower spendings. When you, when you see that there is war around you, you don't book your next uh, big vacation. You, you don't really uh, get a new car or uh, I don't know, update your laptop. Yeah, you, you try to save some money, you are more pessimist. This is hurting the economy. And what is the Fed doing? The central bank will drop, the interest rate will increase the money supply dramatically because they said the economy needs help. We need to sustain the economy. Okay, but the effects were not coming very fast and guess what, the economy is starting to recover because there was no second attack. There was no big change in the world economy. Nothing special happened to change the fundamental values of the economy. So the economy will start to recover, recover, without the effect of the interest rate drop. Because you see, if you drop the interest rate, there is no uh, immediate adjustment in the investment. Investment are based on long-run decisions. Business uh, leaders, they make a business plan which is at least, let's say, one year in advance, six months before the actual investment will happen. You, you plan, right? You, you don't just make uh, right now, okay, I see the interest rate, let's uh, invest tomorrow with a few billions. Okay, so here there was no effect from the monetary policy. The economy started to recover. And when the economy got here, now finally the low interest rate hit the economy, which made what? Well, people take a lot of mortgages because there was plenty of money in the market. The banks, maybe you saw the movie The Big Short. Very good. I will ask a few questions in the exam. You see, because the bank had so much cash, they were very eager to give mortgages. So they tried very hard to find customers everywhere possible, which made 
the house prices increase and increase and increase and increase and then there was the disaster. Okay? So maybe this was not the only explanation but for sure a lot of people agree that the bubble from the real estate market from the United States was very strong connected with the decision to increase the money supply after 9-11. And because there is this lag, you see, so here was the, the puppy, the dog, the recession happened anyway, so this uh, was a mild recession, was not so bad. Yeah. And then there was this river, the, the catastrophic event, because when, when the economy finally made the change, was not needed anymore. And therefore, a lot of people are saying, look, it's better not to intervene in the economy and let the things alone because you are doing more harm than good with your decision. Well, that's what we have here. OK. 